Be Our Guest Restaurant is an incredible new addition to New Fantasyland. It is a restaurant that is themed after the Beast Castle, both inside and out. The Beast Castle is so important in the storytelling of the overall environment here. When you're at a distance, we really want you to see that you're being drawn to the castle itself. And it will appear just like it did in the film when Belle and Maurice first went there. It's a little foreboding, a little scary, but you know you want to go in there. So of course they have to come across that iconic bridge that's uh, guarded by gargoyles along the way. As you start to approach the castle, you see the beauty and the detail. We've got these amazing sculptures of the lions, and above the door we actually have this beautiful mosaic that helps to reinforce the story. When you first come through the doors, wow, you're in the castle, you are here. We have the two minotaurs that are help guarding that overall ballroom. When the guest walks through that entryway and looks up, it's the movie. You see the chandeliers, the walls, the drapery, the mural on the ceiling, even the trousel floor is recreated from the movie. We've put our guest in that environment. When you walk into the space, it's almost overwhelming. It's very emotional as well. For those of us who truly love Disney, this is so over the top that I've seen tears come to some people's eyes. It's that powerful, that emotional. I think one of the best things that we can ever do here is to have our guests come through and feel emotions and sometimes not exactly know why they're feeling those emotions. They'll come through and they'll be happy or they'll be excited or maybe the music will spark a memory that they'll have. When you move through the Be Our Guest restaurant, through the different rooms and the different environments, you really feel like you're entering the movie and you're going through the different steps of the film. There's places that are beautiful, gorgeous and they're happy. There's some places that are a little more spooky and foreboding and there's some places that are just warm and very cheery. So we wanted to make sure that all the little story beats that were hit in the movie, we represented that here. There are some elements specifically from the movie and icons, like the enchanted rose, that there's no way we could do, you know, the, the, the Beast's castle without an enchanted rose inside the west wing. When you walk in, you'll see this large arched window, and centered on that is this vase that has the rose in it. And over time, you'll start to see the petals fall off, just like in the movie. We also have this amazing portrait over the fireplace, which uh, switches between the prince and the beast when one of the petals fall. In the castle dining room, obviously, I think the favorite part there is going to be the music box, which has Belle and Beast spinning around. This is something uh, that we as a team sort of came up together with. And, and it really is sort of an extension of the story to some degree. We'd like to say maybe it was a, a gift from Maurice to Belle and the Prince to sort of celebrate their friendship and their love after the fact. But it, it's beautifully done. If you look at it, you can see lots of different wood grains in it, different colored stains. It's no wonder why that's the centerpiece of that room. But I think there's a hidden gem in the room. If you really look up, there's actually this chandelier that has this beautiful stained glass rose in it. It's one of those layers of detail that not many people will see, but when you see it, you'll see that reinforcing of the overall story. Additionally, if you look around the environment, you'll have all these portraits and tapestries that help reinforce the story. Well, in the movie, the characters played obviously a huge part, and they were all in and out and around the castle. So here we have our castle. We want to make sure that those enchanted objects are here with us, so they're represented in our tapestries and in our paintings. I think every Disney fan, every Disney guest needs to come to Be Our Guest restaurant at least once just to see Walt Disney Imagineering, the Walt Disney Parks at their best. I think just the richness of the detail that they could probably come back and visit again and again and find more and more new and delightful things. Be Our Guest restaurant is, is for Beauty and the Beast fans of all ages, young at heart, whoever, families, couples, individuals. There's something here for everybody. I think that it, it celebrates the best of Beauty and the Beast, and it really is, I think, the closest any of us could ever really come to being in that story. Something that makes me very happy and that is very fulfilling is to come to the end of this project and to walk through these different rooms and see the dreams of all the people that I've worked with over the last five years here. And you know what? Even though I'm leaving this project, I'm never really leaving it or the people that I've worked with because I can always come back and visit and I can walk through these rooms and I can see the talent and the inspiration from all of those people here as I walk through the restaurant.